Yat eh. Hello. That's how we say in Navajo, we say hello. Yat eh. My name is Larry Holiday. I'm a, uh, a Navajo tribe. I come from the uh, Monument uh, Valley, Utah, and uh, also a, a very Navajo traditional person. And we get to do a lot of the uh, traditional ceremonies, traditional counseling here on the Navajo Reservation. Yate, my name is Charlotte Salt. I am originally from Kianta, Arizona. So like you said, we are very a traditional person. So but we do welcome you to Monument Valley. When we do a uh, Navajo traditional ceremony, and this is how we uh, dress up, and turquoise, silver, and then also there's elderly involved and there's uh, adults involved in, in, the, in the ceremony. And most of the time, the traditional ceremony will take place in this beautiful uh, Hokan. In Hokan, we call it, it's, it's Hawan. It's a home to us, and we do ceremony inside the whole country. When we preparing a Navajo wedding, there's a lot of the uh, family involvement a lot of community involvement. And then also, so when we do a uh, traditional ceremony, we call it Ike. Ike means wedding. Or also we call it Shinkat. Shinkat means the, uh, on the groom site, they bring horses to the, to the, to the bride's family. As you can see, this is the Hogan. The male, the groom, will come with his family first. Mm -hmm. They would ride in the, the horses and they, the, one of the, the brides will designate either an uncle, the dad, a grandfather. They would designate somebody to greet them. He would take off the saddle. He would bring the saddle and set it down one for the groom to sit. Then the family will all follow, they will all come in. The bride side of the family will be on this, on this, on your right hand side. So when they all come in, then then after a while, the, the bride will come in. She will have her mush. So this is what we call the corn mush. So they would, this is what we, the bride will bring in. Her face would be covered, then the family will follow and they would sit on the right hand side. And she would have designate another person who would bring in the water vase. This is a napco vase that he, that, um, that he, um, he would bring in. He would actually be the one who would perform the ceremony. So this will be placed on the ground and then, then they would lecture them and then the, 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 the water, the, the person that brings in the, the water base will pour on both of their hands, which they both will cleanse themselves, the, the, the female and the male. Then after a while, they would explain to them the, the four directions where they would pick the mush, the east, the west, the south, the, and, the, and the north. 
so they will pick it and then they will pick it down the middle so that's how the mush is eaten between the bride and the groom then once that is done the groom side of the family will eat all of the mush they will eat everything that's what they will do the napo basket is belongs to the bride and the groom which they keep for themselves and they can put their valuables in there their, their turquoise all their jewelry whatever is valued to them and they just leave it in the home the bride side will feed the groom side of the family they will feast and they will feast and everything then after that once everybody has eaten we provide gift baskets to the groom side we give them gift baskets with all the food because Back in the old days, you know how they would journey with, on the wagon with the horses? So as they head on home, they have something to eat on the way home. So that's what they would do. At the same time, while they're still in here, they start lecturing the bride and the groom. They'll tell them what the rights, the wrongs, what they should do, what they shouldn't do. So it's just more like a counseling for them. So as they learn, so that's what that's what a whole Navajo wedding is for the Navajo side. But with us providing a wedding for you guys, we will do the basic, do the Navajo basket with the corn mush. We will provide I mean, there will be a wedding base involved. Those are two the main things that is provided when it comes to doing an album, a wedding for you guys out there.